Would you like to mind talking about your offensive line for? Absolutely. You know, I, I've said from the very beginning the, the offensive line for our team is the backbone of our team this season. Um, we have uh, an unbelievable leadership core. Um, it starts off with, you know, I believe our center, Stephen Erickson. Um, you know, and, and just the fact of his sheer size and, and, and his work ethic and everything that this kid has done. Um, you know, I, you know, it's, he's earned the right to uh, to get Division One scholarship, and, and, and uh, he's already declared himself to, to go to the uh, University of Akron. Uh, and it moves on down the line. We've got our left tackle. We've got uh, uh, Dakota Maple, six uh, three, two eighty five. Um, you know, Dakota is is obviously you know, and, and he's obviously one of these kids that that when you look at him, his sure size is big, but. Thing that this kid has is he is an athlete. He has his, his footwork, the things that he does. Um, right tackle, we have Joe Grubb, 6'5, 270. Um, you know, I, as I talked to all the other uh, people who were, you know, recruiting Joe and looking at Joe, uh, if, you, if you get a chance to see Joe, his wingspan and the things that, uh, that he offers there at the, the tackle position is exactly what you look for. And again, his effort every single day of practice, all, you know, everything we do. Um, it's been amazing. Um, at left guard right, right now, we have uh, Richard Anderson. Um, he's returning back for his second year at, at that spot. Um, it, you know, Richard has got uh, a lot of things going his way. There's some things we're still working on with him. Um, you know, but I, I tell you what, you know, I've said it from day one, the fight that this kid has, the fight that uh, he brings to the table and, and, and his men mentality Especially beside Stevie, it's pretty fun to watch. Uh, and then right guard, we got we got David Archer. And you know what was cool about Archer is is at the beginning of the season he wasn't the starting guard, um, and there was an open competition. Uh, and at first it was between a couple other kids, and then he's kind of won that job. Uh, and not only has he won it, but man, it's he's shown us that that he's he's a player. I mean, he's he's a kid that that uh, at that position has has done some pretty amazing things. You know, Friday night. Uh, in the game, there was about three or four times. I, I, I'm, as I'm watching the offensive line, I see him blocking down the field, and I see the extra things that he brings in, to the table. Uh, it's just a fun group of guys to be around. It's a fun core, and, and I tell you, in, in my 11 years I've been here, we've never had an offensive line like this. Uh, and then we've got a couple young kids that are behind him that are pushing for that varsity spot. And, and, and I got to tell you, that's that's what's made us great. Is, is if these guys take a break, if these guys don't go hard in practice. We got three or four kids that can fit right in, and as we've talked about in our staff meetings, um, in all reality, there's some of these kids that can step in, and we don't miss a whole lot. I mean, it's, it's the same kind of tempo, it's the same kind of mindset. So to have that kind of depth, and to know uh, if something goes wrong, or, or, or if you need to talk to a kid on the sidelines during a game, you can pull them out for a couple of plays and talk to them and get another kid in, and you're not going to miss a whole lot. Um, it makes it special, and, 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 uh, and I think you can see it as the game goes on and the way our offense has performed so far. Okay, uh, we have Claymont coming up Friday, another home game. What's, what does Claymont bring? Claymont's physicality. You know, as soon as anybody who's been around the Carrollton area and has played football against Claymont, everybody from the 80s on up, the 70s maybe, uh, you know, knows that when, when Carrollton and Claymont come together, uh, it, there's going to be physicality. There's going to be it's a shit. It just is. It's just. It's just one of those things where you, you always are going to get uh, those extra hits. You're always going to get the extra little things on the side. Um, you just got to know. I mean, it's 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 one of the games you love to play every year. And I hope you keep this game for forever. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they run they run a spread offense. They're going to be four or five wide, uh, and then we'll bring them back in, in, into the backfield. Uh, they're pretty evenly matched with passing and, and running. Um, they've got. They lost a really good quarterback that they had last year. They've got a, a, another really good quarterback back in. Very accurate. Very good runner. Um, we've got four or five receivers, including mainly the Peterson kid. Um, that is pretty fun to watch. He's, he's a pretty special athlete. Um, they have a nice size offensive line as well that, that gets after it. Um, and their defense is as tenacious as they come. I mean, they, they, they swarm to the ball and they do the things that, that a good team has. To to do, and that's why they're where they're sitting at right now as well. Uh, one last question. Uh, 
two games in, any kind of injuries, or are you still no, we're, healthy? No, we are healthy. Mm -hmm. We're healthy as of now, and, and I mean, we're, we're obviously a little dinged up here and there, but nothing that that changes anything for us, or, or nothing that, that, that anyone's going to stay out or anything like that. So yeah, we're, we're healthy. Okay, Eric, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and good luck Friday night. Thank and you. Me too. See. You.